Number seven, uh, it'll be a f of g and g of f. So we're going to do this one first. We're going to do f of g of x. Uh, so no, no numerical ones will just be f of g and g of f. Now the thing you want to make sure you know is the formula for that one. So you want to make sure what that, that really means. It's asking, asking you to do this. It's saying put the g inside of the f. This is not multiplication. We're not multiplying f times g together. That's not what this notation means. It means we're putting g inside of the f. So here's how we're going to first start by setting that one up. We're going to remove the g of x from there and replace it with this, 1 over x squared minus 4. So it's going to look like that. Okay, we have f, we replace the g of x with the formula, so it's going to look like that. So now this is what we want to do. This means that we're going to go to the f function. We're going to replace the x with what you see inside the parentheses. We're going to use this one as a template, so we're going to do 2 times blank and then plus 1. This is our template that we're using. We remove the x from here, we're replacing it with 1 over x squared minus 4. So 1 over x squared minus 4 goes in there. The instructions do tell us to write this as a single fraction, so let's do that. So I'm going to multiply this. This is really 2 over 1 that I'm multiplying by, so I'll multiply across the top, across the bottom there and I'll get 2 over x squared minus 4. We only multiply the top because the bottom number is 1. Now we have a plus 1 that's over here. I'm going to write that as 1 over 1. We want to get common denominators because it says write as a single fraction. So each of these I'm going to put in x squared minus 4 on top, x squared minus 4 on the bottom. So we're going to make that a power of 1. So now I can write this as a single fraction. I have x squared minus 4 down below. On top, I have 2 plus x squared minus 4. Uh, 1 times that is itself. So I end up with this. The last thing I want to do is just simplify the top. When I simplify it, I'm going to get x squared. And I have minus 2 x squared minus 4. Don't worry about factoring it unless it tells you specifically to do so. This one didn't specify. All it said was write as a single fraction. That's exactly what we have here is a single fraction. So this is the answer for i, x squared minus 2, x squared minus 4. Okay. Next, we want to do double i. Now double i, this is going to be reversed. So they want you to do this time g of f of x. What that one looks like is these are switched. So now we've got f is going to go inside of the g. So we have to do this in a different order. So let's erase this and we'll start with that one. This says that we got to put the f inside the g. The f was 2x plus 1. So we're going to do g and then we're going to do 2x plus 1. So we're going to put that uh, inside of the G. Uh, it does say on here for the instructions factor if possible so we'll do that with our final answer. So this is saying we're going to take 2x plus 1 and put it into here in place of x. So here's a template that we're going to use. I have 1 over something squared minus 4. So I'm going to take out the x that's here, replace it with 2x plus 1 goes inside. And now what I want to do is multiply it out and factor it. Okay, so for this part, when I multiply it, I'm going to get 4x squared plus 4x plus 1, and I still have a minus 4 on the end. So uh, that's what I get once I uh, throw that in. So 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 and then minus 4. I'm going to simplify that. That's going to be 1 over x squared, 4x squared plus 4x, and then this I'll have a minus 3. I want to factor it if possible. So let's try and factor this one. Uh, I can do 2x and 2x. And for 3, there's only 1 and 3. That's the only combination there I can use. And I want to get a plus 4 in there. So if I make this a positive 3 and a negative 1, that will give me the correct middle term. I'll get positive 6, negative 2 does add up to uh, positive 4 and then negative 1 and 3 will give me negative 3 in the end. And this is what I would put for my final answer for 
g of f of x.